Hey everybody, welcome back. Rod here with some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So, um, funny story. I was up in the top spot up there and I thought I was recording and I played for about 20 minutes before I realized that I didn't even hit the record button. So, <laughs> figured I'd backtrack just a little bit. I mean, I hadn't done a whole lot. I've been trying to figure out this puzzle that I've been working on. I figured I'd at least backtrack so you guys could see how I got here. Um, but I was up there, and I just leaped out, landed right there, and I just rappelled down, and here we are. Um, we grabbed a couple items, nothing crazy, but we came around the corner, and I wanted you guys to be able to see this, because it's pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, I've already moved it, I'll explain it as I've done it, though. Um, but we made our way down here, to this tunnel. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um... And there were a couple things already moved. Um, I went ahead and moved them. For example, I moved this guy right here and aimed it over so I could make it to that lamp or mirror. Because I jumped across these because they have to be highlighted by the light, so I'll show you. So they have to be at the right elevation too. So like once you hit them, then they light up and then they move, like so. Um, so the whole goal was to get over here so I can aim this one right here and get to the other mirror. But I just realized, I don't know how I'm going to get over this way though. Hmm. Because I need to be able to get over... I need that because I need to be able to get to the other mirror but if I don't have a light shining on this then I can't get over there so maybe I have no clue ooh wait could that one reach it I'm so confused. Let me see if we can do this one though. Sometimes these puzzles, I'm like, I got it. But other times, I'm like, uh, I got nothing. So if I can aim at this one right here, which I can, beautiful. Okay, so now, it's just a lot of backtracking. So now, let's turn this one. Then we can get. Oh wait, but how are we gonna get over here? Man, this is confusing. Cause I don't know if I really don't think this one can reach anything else. God, man, I am not thinking this through all the way. Wait, 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 wait. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. Okay, so you get over here, and then you do this. Because we're already over here, so we don't need it to stay active. Let's get past this. It gets stuck on things when you're like about to highlight it, too. I don't know why it keeps doing that. There we go. Big brain. Okay. Now we're making some progress. Whee. Alrighty. So, I'm assuming we're just trying to get... Let go. Will you let go? Okay, so that thing on its own is fine. So we just need that to be aimed right here then? Aw, oh, yeah. But how do I get back up? Okay, I see it. Wait, 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 wait. I barely saw that out of the corner of my eyes. 
Shankar was a very important god to the Maya. He taught them farming secrets and oversaw growing in the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black, representing north, east, south, and west. Oh boy. That sounds pretty creepy. So we actually get a visual of what he looked like. Okay, so I think we go ahead and head up this way. I'm glad my brain kicked in, because I was worried. I'm like, I feel like I'm overanalyzing how to get out of here. Okay. Now we just make our way back. Because I don't think... I think I need to go there. Well, I need it to. Hmm. Is that it? Just simple as that? Wow, okay. I guess that's it. I thought I was gonna have to move more stuff. Cool. Yeah. Here I was thinking this dungeon was going to be really hard. I was getting stumped for a minute there, but then I started like actually sitting there to think about it. Increases the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each source. Sweet. I'll take it. Temple of the Sun completed. So yeah, essentially what you want to do is you start out with this one, aim it over here. Or well, you aim it over at the middle one so you can make your way over to the little guy. And then aim both of them over here to get to this one. And then you have to aim it back at this, climb your way back over, and then turn that one on that so you can get across, then use that to turn it back, and then use that one to also turn that back, make your way across, and then yeah, just jump over as simple as that. I wasn't sure what I was going to have to do. I'm like, I know I have to get over here, I just wasn't sure how to get about it. Take your offerings, don't mind me. So, if I remember correctly, uh, when I came in here, you guys didn't see it because I forgot I wasn't recording. Because you can't get out, because you saw when I started the episode, I, I climbed down. So in order to get out, we have to go this way. Because I accidentally went to the exit, and she's like, this is the exit. I'm like, oh, well, we don't want to go that way then. But now we do. Sweet, that puzzle took me like less than 10 minutes, uh, on camera at least. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been bad. Why didn't you just... Alright, whatever. I don't know why she didn't just jump down. Okay. I was hitting square, but she wasn't putting the... Hey what? what is happening right now? Jeez, I hit square like six times. Ugh, there's some loud eagles or something going on over here. Yeah. Say, when in doubt... Means you gotta jump somewhere. Ah. I think that's the way to go. Wait, there's another challenge to him? Or is this just another way to get in there? Okay, that's just the way to go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I not notice that? That's a sneaky little hole there. Huh. Alright, cool. Yeah. Challenge tomb completed. Which 
job well done. Work this talking minute is. Ugh. I assume this is how we get out of here. I think I fell off down here because I didn't know where to jump. I was being a dummy dumb. Whoa, did the same exact thing. Wow. She should have climbed up a little further and jumped. What the hell? <laughs> Alright. Double X. Grab. There you go. Get me out of here. Yeah. I assume this is how you get out of here. Did I literally just go back into the temple? I think I did. I did. But that's okay though, because we're just going to go ahead and use this and get out of here because I am not dealing with it. <laughs> this place is aggravating the hell out of me. Uh. Holy cow. Ugh. It's like I get it, it's my fault. I know I'm the one that keeps messing up, but like that last one there was a little confusing because... I swear I was hitting the button and like she was just like, hmm, I think I'll just go ahead and ignore you instead. I put your design to listen to me. <laughs> Excuse me. I posted a picture of this barbecue, uh, it was like pulled pork with barbecue sauce being poured on it. <laughs> and my friend said that he thought that it was ice cream with chocolate drizzle. Well, oh, that's funny. <coughs> oh man, like I said, one of the biggest things that sucks is this game takes forever to load. This is why I haven't fast traveled in, in like any episodes lately, because it takes this long. It probably would have taken me a little bit longer to just actually get out of there, because I have no idea how I got back in there. I, like, I'm trying to backtrack and see how to get out. I can't remember. There's always like a crevice somewhere. That might have been the right way to go. I just chose the wrong path. I always do that. I backtrack and go the same way I didn't mean to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this? Oh, yeah, we know about that. So we've done two out of three tombs. But there's also like hella crypts that we need to finish because we need to go check out this one. And I don't even know what else there is. What's this? Another mural? How did I miss that? That's right around the corner. Okay, just relax there, Lara. Jeez. What's up, Shiki? Oh man, this one's hidden in plain sight. I would have never guessed that was there. Ooh, that's a creepy looking one. Ooh, almost level two. As it was foretold. 
heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising <clears throat> sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. That does not sound good. Pretty sure we know who we're talking about. Okay, I think it's, was it this guy? I freed your friends, and hey. there's more good news. Colqui is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. Ooh. All right. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. Hey, no problem, man. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. Yeah, I could do that. I'll find him. Ooh. Provides extra experience? Cool. Alright, guys. Well, I guess uh, we got a continued on addition to this quest. No big deal, though. We need to figure out where Kolkwi is. Are you kidding me? It looks like exactly the area I just left. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, man, I hope not. What would be the odds that would be in the challenge to him? Oh, boy. We'll figure it out, though. Next episode, you guys. I appreciate you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little confusing of an episode because I didn't record. I mean, back since happened, it's going to happen eventually. You didn't miss a whole lot. I literally just rappelled down and I tried to figure out the start of the puzzle. Hopefully I explained it okay, but if you get there yourself, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you're enjoying the series. If you're new, subscribe. I appreciate it. Pushing towards that 200 goal right now. It's feeling pretty good. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have an excellent day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.